Okay, lesson 55, 9. <laughs> Rearranging before substitution. So you guys, we're adding like one step before we do substitution. All right. So remember that when we solve systems of equations, it means that you find x and you find y. So you have two equations and two unknowns. We are going to learn substitution, elimination, and graphing as ways to solve for x and y. All right. So we're making substitution one step harder today. And then we're doing the same process. Okay. So the first step is to isolate one of your variables. All right. You have an x, a y, an x and a y and one of those is the easiest to solve for and the one that is the easiest to solve for is the one with a positive one in the front okay so the first x the second x the first y or the second y which one should we solve for okay this guy right here is your friend because there's a positive one here that you don't see okay so the x that's like by itself already that's the one that you want to isolate all by himself on one side of the equation. So to get this x by itself, we add 3y and we add 3y. All right. So now I have x is equal to 3y minus 7. I like to put the variable part first. All right. You could also put minus 7 plus 3y, but 3y minus 7 is better. <laughs> Now this is exactly what we were doing before because the x is by itself. So now this should look like what you've done before. So we take this, what x is equal to, and we plug it in to the other equation, and we replace the x with what x is equal to. Now you always use parentheses when you plug in, and some people missed this problem yesterday on the odds because there was like a negative sign in front. You still had to distribute, so you always put parentheses when you replace your variable with what it equals here. So x is equal to 3y minus 7. So there's my x that I replaced. And then I have this minus 3y equals 4. All right, and now it's just solving. I'm down to one variable. So I'm going to distribute the 2, which gives me 6y minus 14. And then I have a minus 3y equals 4. Now I'm going to combine like terms, 6y minus 3y is 3y, and at the same time, I'm going to add this 14 over to the other side. All right, that gives me 18, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 3, so y is equal to 6. We still need to find x, so you come over here to where x is by itself. This is the best place to plug in. x is equal to 3 times y. And we just found out y is 6, so plug that in. So I get 18 minus 7, which is 11. And then we write our final answer as an x, comma, y coordinate point. All right? So same thing, we just add solving for a variable. We're going to do one more. Go ahead and write this down. 4x minus y equals 41. <clears throat> 2x plus y equals 25. All right, the variable you want to isolate is the one with a positive 1 in front. Your second choice, if there isn't one of those, is the one with a negative 1 in front, okay, just so you know. <laughs> so what's our first choice? The first x, the second x, the first y, or the second y? Exactly. Okay, this y right here is your friend. This one has a positive 1 in front. It is the easiest to isolate, all right? So get this guy by itself. We are going to subtract 2x and subtract 2x. So this y is all alone. And then I get negative 2x here plus 25. All right, now, whatever you got by itself, we're going to plug into the other equation. So here's the one I have not used yet, and I'm going to replace the y with this. This is a good one to remind you that you must use parentheses, okay? So I have 4x right here that I rewrite, and then I have this minus sign, and then I'm replacing the y with what y is equal to. So I have to use parentheses, negative 2x plus 25. 
and then I'm still following along in this equation here, so that equals 41. All right, rewrite this 4x. This negative sign distributes, okay? That makes it a plus 2x right there. And then this negative distributes here, that makes it a minus 25 equals 41. Add these together here, that's 6x. At the same time, I'm going to add this 25 over here to the other side. That gives me 66. Divide by 6. So x is equal to 11. Okay, the best place to plug in is right here where y is by itself. If I plug in 11 for x, that would give me negative 22 plus 25, which is 3. And then always write your answer as an x, y, coordinate point. All right, let's try a couple of these on the whiteboards.